Welcome back to 5 Minute STEM. Today we're going to be going over color mapping, so transforming the colors of one image to those of another image. And to do that we're going to be looking at histogram matching, which is essentially manipulating the pixels of one input image so that the histogram matches another image's histogram. All right, so what we'll do is start out with an image. It's going to be a dark image that you can't see a lot of detail in. And just read it in. I'm going to show this image. One, three, one. just call it image A and then the image that will be the reference image is a brighter image with more detail shown and we'll show what it looked like originally image B, and then C is going to be the combine, combined image, so we're going to use IM hist match A, B, and then method polynomial. And now this method here is just to change the intensity of the reference image. You could also call uniform, but I'm going to do polynomial. You also don't have to call any of them. You could just leave it at a, b, but again, I want to change the intensity level of it. And then we'll show this. Three, three, and show C X label matched list. And let's run it. All right. So as you can see, we took this dark image right here referenced this brighter image and this is what happened. It's a much brighter image. So this technique would be useful if let's say you had some security cameras, you know, and it was nighttime, you couldn't really see a lot. You could brighten it using a similar method like this. All right, so now what we're going to do is use those same principles but on a grayscale image. So I'm going to just read in a grayscale image. Cameraman. And then we'll just show it. Image A, and now to do this, to add a color map onto a grayscale image, we want to change the grayscale to an index image. So gray to index, A, and then 250. Six and then change the index to RGB A map 
And then we have our next image. Read. This is going to be the colored image that we're going to apply onto the grayscale. And also I want to resize it to match the cameraman image. So B. 256, 256, and also I want to change it to be a double because that's what the cameraman image is going to be. And then show this one, three, two, I am show. semicolons aren't necessary there and then C equals I am hist match and in this case I'm just going to do a B no method one three three show Matched hist. All right, now let's run it. An error. Did I am read twice? It should be I am resize. All right. So obviously you want to use a different picture to get it a little bit more accurate, but this just gives you an idea. The sky is now blue, it matches the sky over here. The grass has a little bit of a green tint to it to match down here. The jacket is a brownish color. All right, so this is used, you know, for colorizing old images like this one obviously it looks like an older image so you apply similar colors to it and this is how it turns out so you can fool around with the intensity levels or just different images and see which one gives you the best look but this is just the basics for it all right thanks for watching